Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I invite the beautiful Selena Cristina Perez here to lend me her canvas to create a makeup look for you. She has such a gorgeous face that it's really... I had a hard time to like restrain myself not to do too heavy on the makeup and this is what we come up with. It's still a lot of makeup but the look is still more sculpted but not heavy eye or heavy lips. I hope you enjoy the video and continue to support the channel. Give the channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow both Selena and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you for everything. To start heavy makeup, I always use skincare first. The first product I use is a lip balm from Laneige. This have a little sheen. You can take the shine off when you apply lipstick. The next product I'm using is the vitamin C from the brand called Alpha H. This is a beautiful Australian brand that I discovered recently. They've been around for a long time, but recently I used some of their serum and I really love it. If you want to try vitamin C serum, this is a great one to try because it's very gentle on the skin. Because sometimes people find vitamin C can be a little irritate their skin. This one very hydrated. The next product I'm using is the brand called Ole Henderson. It's that vitamin C eye cream. Just a little bit. I think this is great for people who have under eye circle and the color discoloration. The next product is I'm using the face cream from a brand called House of M. This is Saffron Silk Night Concentrate Cream. A lot of time brand, they put night cream, day cream, just to differentiate between like light or heavy cream. I myself like a heavier cream on the makeup because I think it's really blend the makeup really well. So this is, I know it's saying the container that it is a night cream, but I use for day on the makeup as well. Always give your skin a lot of love. I got my hand closed under the door recently, so it's, it um, got bruises. If you wonder, it's, uh, it looks so dirty just because it's bruised. <laughs> For foundation and concealer today, I'm using the foundation from Face Atelier and the concealer from John Road. The Face Atelier is a very beautiful foundation. It's medium to full coverage foundation, beautiful. And then the John Road is it's more like face color. You can use that to correct in or cover anything you like. I use it as concealer today. For the foundation, this is, as you can see, is a very beautiful foundation. I used that many years ago. I just revisit again. It is similar consistency and it does give you a lot of coverage. You 
can see right now, I just apply a little bit and I just blend it out with a kabuki brush. Generally, I just put foundation mainly here and I blend it out, but because on camera I stand one-sided, so I just start on this side first and do the other side. But it's better you just put mainly on the T-zone and blend it out. That way you save a lot of foundation because all this area, you don't really need the foundation at all. I'm going to use a color corrector from NARS, just a little bit under the eye area. And around the mouth. Usually I put it before the foundation, but you still can do it after the foundation. And use the same blending brush you use for the foundation. You just blend it out. If you do it after foundation, you may use a little bit foundation after to, to blend the color corrector out. For the concealer, I'm using two shades. One shade is number three. I use it mainly under the eye area. The great thing about this concealer, you can pinpoint anywhere. You can use this for any way really. It's not just one way, but I use this under the eyes. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. And then the deeper concealer I use around the nose and then pinpoint anything that you want to cover more. You can use a brush to blend it out or you can use the finger like the way I'm doing right now. You just blend a little bit like that. You can also use just one shade. You don't have to use two shades like I do. It's just personal preference. And then number four, if you want to cover on the around the mouth a little more, you just pinpoint and do like the way I'm doing right now. This color stick is great. You can use for pinpoint, pimple, any color discoloration. I think it's great, easy to use. It's a little tacky. It's going to be really good for cover acne for sure. For contour, I'm using this contour stick from M Cosmetic. And I'm using also like a blending brush like this. This color, I love it because it's more like a taupey, more like a natural shadow instead too warm. I think it's great for contour. And the formulation is great. It's so easy to blend. Selena doesn't need any contour at all, but I want to do the look more sculpted, enhancing. That's why I'm using a little bit of the contour stick.
when you do contouring or shading like what I'm doing, if someone have a smaller forehead like this, try to avoid it. Earlier, I put a bit right here. I took it off with a foundation brush because I realized I don't, so it doesn't need that at all. And you can use a little bit around the nose. You don't need too much. You can see that the shade is more like a natural shadow. So it's actually quite beautiful. You can use a smaller fluffy brush like this and just shade in a little more if you like. For powder, I'm going to use the loose powder from Laura Mercier. A little bit under the eye area. Around the nose. I mentioned it before, if you set powder, make sure all the crease from the foundation blend out, otherwise you set the crease, basically. I'm going to use the bronzer as well. I'm using this bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury and just set where I contour earlier. As I said in many video before, is I do many different steps, but it's personal preference. You don't want to wear contour, you don't have to, you don't want to wear powder, you can skip all those steps. I just show everything. You don't have to do every single step I do. The goal of my video is really just show you the makeup look. It's not makeover. So all the girl is already pretty. I just show you the step up, like create certain different makeup look. For eyebrow, I'm going to use these two products from a brand called Refi. To start, I use this brow pencil to define the eyebrow a little more. I use the shade light. I think Selena eyebrow look great with pale, not too dark, and that's why I didn't want to use a darker shade. They also have a medium and dark shade, but I think I keep the eyebrow really light. You can see that you just do brush back and forth. You can really actually do the arch or you can just cheat by just cover this area a little bit so you don't have to have too hard the eyebrow. Just something like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I use the brow pomade to set the brow in place. For the eyes, I'm going to use three products. The first one is the long wear brown liner from One Side Beauty. And I use a volume mascara from YSL. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the eyeshadow from Tom Ford. This is more like a creamy matte eyeshadow. It's a cream texture, but set matte. So it's more soft texture. So this is along the shade I'm gonna try to play with. I think I'm gonna use this shade, this shade, maybe a little bit of the other shade. I'm just gonna play along. For the long wear liner from One Side Beauty, I'm doing all over the inner waterline, the upper and lower as well. So I just basically apply the inside. 
and also the inner water line as well. Remember, this is a long wear, so it's great for the water line. You see that I do all over the water line, just with a brow pencil, and then close your eye, just a little bit on the outer part. You can do a heavier liner if you want to, but I just don't want the eye to look too heavy. And this way I'm just gonna help the eye a little more lifted and extended them even longer. And that's all I do. Remember, this is long wear pencil. Do one eye at a time. If you draw both at the same time, it's gonna set before you even blend it out. Let's see, something like that. I'm doing the same on the other side. Next, use a pointy blending brush. Use this shade right here. And just define the shape of the eye even more. It's not gonna give you a lot of color. It's just really enhancing. I wanna smudge the eye out a little more. A little bit, the inner part as well. And then use the same color. on the crease area. You can use a deeper color if you like. It's all personal preference. I love about this formulation is that it's easy to blend. You can build them more and more if you like. You can see the color I'm using. It's very subtle. The look is, I mean, it's full on, but it's more the overall, when I finish, it will look more like enhancing than do a traumatic makeup look. You can see the difference. It just defines her eye shape more. And you do the same on this side. Next, use the same small blending brush you blend earlier up the eyeliner. Use a deeper shades here, along where you draw earlier. It's the same thing, I'm just smudge it out a little more. The other one, you set the depth, you scratch the look out, and now you just smoke it out a little more. You can see I do very gently. And I think that learning how to apply product gently, that's important because you can blend, you know, make the mess on the makeup. Sometimes you do too rush, too fast. I think that's when the makeup go everywhere. You see, look out for me. So now she have it more dramatic on the eye. And I'm doing the same on the other side. I think that's all I'm gonna do for the eye and use the mascara. You can go heavy if you like to. You can do this shade, go deeper, you can add the color. But I think her eye looks so beautiful, somewhat natural. With the mascara, it looks even more, you know, defined and more pop. Always curl your lashes. For someone who have more a wider eye shape or Asian eye shape, I would recommend this kind of lash curler because it's grab everything for you. Sometimes when the eyelash curler is too short, it doesn't get all the hair. I think something like this is great. This mascara do give you a lot, a lot of volume. And I'm gonna use two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. For blush, I'm going to use this shade of blush from Shiseido. I love this blush. I think it's for someone who doesn't like blush, but a little define is a perfect color for them. I put a little bit too much, but you can blend it out. Sorry, the sign is so loud in front of my building. And you do the same on this side. It just sculpted the face without giving you tons of color. Sometimes some people feel that they don't want to show the blush, but they want some definition. This is perfect. You 
see that and it's so blendable. I put a little bit too much earlier, you see that, but I still able to blend it out without ruining the base underneath at all. For highlighter, I'm using this highlighter from Slisley. Very beautiful, very nice sheen. I'm using the fan brush. A little bit here. And just a little bit everywhere. How much sheen is up to you? I do very natural because I don't want to overly highlight everywhere. For lips, I'm going to use this lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hill and the new lipstick from Fenty Beauty. The shade is more a muted, a nudie tone. On Selena, it will look like a more softer color. And this is the new lipstick they have. It's more a, a satin semi-matte finish. To start, I'm gonna line the lips a little bit. I mean, for someone with beautiful lip shape like this, she doesn't need lip line at all. But I just want to deepen the outer edge a little bit before I do the lip liner. And because Selena have really beautiful filled lips, I'm not going to cheat or do anything tricky at all. Just follow her lip shape. Just shaping the lips a little bit, not overlining. You can use a smaller brush, but I'm using a brush like this, and I'm just blending out the edge a little bit before I do the lipstick. So you see that I blend out the edges first like that. I mean, this looks great like this. You don't really need lipstick at all. But I'm gonna use a little bit of lipstick. This is a very nice color. It's a little lighter than the lip liner, which I intentionally do that. And mainly in the center area. And blend it out the edges. I think this lip is beautiful on her. I think it's such a gorgeous lip shade. To complete the look, I'm going to set the makeup with some setting spray from Urban Decay. That is the final look, guy. This is, I don't know what you call this. This is more like sculpted, more enhancing sculpted. It's heavy but it's not heavy so you guys can name whatever you like for this look we love the look i hope you like the look as well thank you selena so much for coming to the channel and this is selena perez i do know the gomez but this is the perez <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i hope you enjoy the video give the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel keep the video thumb up and don't forget to follow both selena and myself on instagram as well Thank you again for watching.